Hey guys, it's Jeff, and today Apple released the third iOS beta of iOS 12.1.1, and with this update just coming in at over 100 megabytes, I'm not expecting much from it, but let's take a look at performance here and also check for any new features or changes. Before we get started though, I just wanted to let you guys know that this iOS update video was sponsored by MacPaw, and they have an app called Clean My Mac X, which helps clean, protect, and speed up your Mac. If you wanna start using this program for free, check out the link down below and start making your Mac experience faster and safer. Now back to iOS 12.1.1 beta 3 and just as an initial observation, the iPad Pro here updated at the same time as the iPhone XS Max that we have here and the iPad Pro was super fast beating out the iPhone by like 30 seconds so that was really interesting but nothing really means anything here on the performance side of things. Now, speaking of performance, and a lot of you were asking how it was on iOS 12.1.1, and with this update, we are seeing some improvement, but not much. Instead of giving you like raw numbers, I'll say that for the iPhone here, we are seeing about a 3.2% increase between the CPU and GPU over iOS 12.1 and iOS 12.1.1 beta one. Switching over to the iPad, and we are seeing about a 2% increase between the CPU and GPU between iOS 12.1 and iOS 12.1.1 beta 3. So moving on to any possible new features, and so far I can't really find anything. We went to search for new wallpapers, maybe some new emoji or animoji, and nothing there either. But there was an update last week that we wanted to point out, and that relates to the Apple Watch app. There is now a new modular watch face, actually several, so you can check that out for yourself and customize it if you get this update. To me, they look a lot more modern, so I'll have to try them out on my Apple Watch and see how I like them. I'll update you how they work and how I customize them. Now, as far as any other Apple Watch news, sadly, we are still waiting on that long-awaited ECG feature, so stay tuned for more news on that. But past those very minimal changes, nothing really new here. Given the update size, though, it looks like Apple may want to be releasing an official version early next week. At least I hope it's next week, so we can get started on iOS 12.2 betas as soon as possible possible. Remember to stay tuned for news on those updates. Anyways guys, very minor update here, but surely we are nearing an official release. So make sure to get subscribed, hit that bell button, and stay tuned for updates because we will surely have some exciting news for you soon. So thank you all for watching, thank you for your support of the channel, and we look forward to seeing you in some upcoming content. Also, don't forget to check out MacPaw and Clean My Mac X. They also have a lot of other apps as well, so make sure to check those out via the link in the video description below. Anyways guys, thank you, we'll see you again.